Nje, nje Tuliku mafilo Okay, okay Nagu shaka right by my side to Benny TV. For those who are new, I am your host, Benny, and we're back for good this time. <laughs> it's been a minute, but that's a story for another day. Um, so today, I am here with my sister. I'll let her introduce herself. Hey guys, my name is Loik. For those who don't know, it's Loik Nisigimana, and I am so grateful to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, for those who don't know, I was born and raised in Tanzania until 2005 when my family migrated to Australia. Um, and I think that's your case as well. Yes, yeah, same background, yes. just 2006. Yes, so we're sisters, just not from the same parents, but we're sisters. Sisters. Because she's Burundian, I'm Burundian. Yeah, sister we're sisters. We're sisters as well. Period. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, last year, we both got the chance to visit our motherland, Burundi. Um, not at the same time. We went on a trip together, unfortunately, and two completely reasons for us to travel, but it was still our very first experience mm -hmm. so we wanted to just have a little discussion about it and share our experience with you guys especially when it comes to the culture shock yeah how was your trip um overall it was nice but there are some things that i was just like oh um <laughs> so i went in november i went for a brother's wedding and we were there for like six weeks mm -hmm. so the trip was mainly focused on the wedding but we had times where we were like able to go out and travel around the country which was really nice mm -hmm. yeah um my trip was in may june ish and it was not as happy as the way uh, <laughs> I had traveled for a family member's funeral um, my brother my beloved brother may he continue to rest in peace mm -hmm. um, yeah but we both had some culture shock <laughs> and we just wanted to share it with you guys like what what was some of the culture shock that you experienced like from the bat as soon as I got off the plane just fresh the off the plane. plane fresh off fresh as off in the... I stepped and I'm hearing bonjour like <laughs> oh, why is everything in French the language yeah the language barrier so bad because I don't speak French maybe the hello goodbye but mm -hmm. nothing too extensive so it was yeah. kind of hard for me to even get through immigration and all of that uh, stuff like the border the everything processes. is French 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 and I'm just like no yeah I <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of shocked too, um, because uh, yes, it's a French-speaking country, but we're Burundians. Yeah, come on, you know. Um, so the fact that everything was in French, the signs, everything, those who are greeting you are speaking French. Um, when you're purchasing the visa, they're telling you the price in French, and then they don't use Burundian francs. Yeah, they expect you to have US, US dollars. dollars. And I was like, okay, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, but. Uh, yeah, the airport. Like it is kind of confusing for those who don't speak French. Yeah. Um, but and exactly if you've never been there and you're not used to like you don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. For me, like someone who was scanning my passport was like, "No, then have a fun to sing it." For what? <laughs> for scanning my passport? Like you're a work. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, I felt it as like I. I hadn't learned that that's how they actually get by and that's how most yeah, of them like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, mm -hmm. I, was, I, to <laughs> I mean, I was telling you like, um, we kind of, um, got, you know, behind a few, um, with a few, um, paperwork, like a, a few, we had a few issues with the paperwork. Gosh, the tongue tie. <laughs> um, and, but I went ahead and my mom was, stuck my mom and my brother was stuck um behind me and i thought oh you know i'll go and get out of the luggage because they had given me the um the uh, the, the luggage receipts. the receipts yeah. and this guy whom i thought was a gentleman you know coming to the rescue was like oh i am a bank in you go away so like are these bags yours and i said yes um, and I showed the receipts and he's like, okay, that's good. Let me help you. And yeah. I was like, oh, thank you. Cause I'm there like <laughs> trying to carry like six bags. Cause you know, you have like two bags each. Yeah. Um, they had their carry ons, but I had my carry on and then I had to get two of my large suitcases, uh, four of theirs cause it was two each. And my guy, I was struggling. 
And this guy comes along and I'm like, oh, he's such a gentleman that like, he helps me put them on the trolleys. And then another guy realized we had like six, seven bags and he comes along too. And he's like, oh, I'll help, I'll help. And I'm like, oh my God, like, yeah. wow. <laughs> and then we get outside to the car and they put the hand out. And I'm thinking they're shaking my hand because I'm thinking they're at work. They got to go back in and yeah. assist more people. Naga fan. <laughs> Come inside. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, so they're asking for a tip, and I'm like, oh, I am so sorry, like, yeah. I look in my wallet, I only have Australian dollars, and I'm like, it's $15, and I'm just <laughs> like, I don't know why I traveled with $15, and I'm like, I don't have any US currency, I don't yeah. have Burundi, and they're like, I made it in my head up, so like, money is money, money. give us what you have, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay, so I give them the $15, like, I don't know, like, I couldn't say no. <laughs> helpful though yeah i mean imagine me pushing <laughs> no but like helpful in a way that they're expecting something back yes yeah yes. so. so that kind of oh because i thought they were just being gentlemen yeah. they at work they see a lady struggling and you know and for us we're really not used to that tipping culture because we yeah. don't tip here i think tipping is more of it's in such an US. american I've heard thing it, like yeah. yeah but in australia yeah. We never see that. I was like, really. what do you mean you want me to pay you when you're already working getting paid by her? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, in the end, I kind of understood, like, you yeah. know, why not? If you can, of course. Yeah. If you're in a position that you can, why not? I mean, you're just helping a brother out, really. Yeah. But overall, it was okay. But again, on the language barrier, yeah. I, I got sick and I went to the pharmacy. <laughs> And the moment I walked in, the pharmacist starts speaking French. And I had to tell the person with me, like, can you please translate? <laughs> and it was, it was kind of like, I'm sorry. And I don't know. I don't know if he thought I was faking or yeah. something. I could just kind of get him, see him getting frustrated. He's like, um, what about you, I was like, yes, I speak Kirun. So he asked me if I speak Kirun. I said, yes. And he's like, okay, I can help you in Kirun. Mm. But then they're speaking Kirun, but they're mixing it with, English? Uh, oh, French. French. And I'm still going, I still don't get it. Yeah. Like, I still don't get it. I'm sorry. And he was just getting so frustrated. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. When they give you the prices for, for the stuff. Still I was French, sick of going, hearing Dan Mill, Sank Mill, because you know what? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, what is it? What is it? Is it? Millions <laughs> I never went shopping by myself. I always had to go with my sister in law yeah. or like someone because there's no way I can't even negotiate. I don't no. know how to negotiate. Oh, so. The negotiating culture. Like mm. when we first went to the shops, I, I kind of got embarrassed when my mom started negotiating. I'm like, Mama. Yeah. Like, what are you, what are you doing? doing? Like, they only gave me the price. Yeah. But then the more I looked around, everybody's doing yeah. it. So it's, you know, it's their way around shopping. And I was like, Oh. Okay, mm. but at first I was like, because you know in Australia the price is set. Yeah, it's not going. Oh, n ten dollars. Okay, sorry, I have eight dollars. Yeah, like you're gonna take it though. So like when I saw that at first, I was kind of looking at my mom like, mom. Yeah, and then the fact doing? that if they don't agree, you walk away by like, again. They'll call you. They, back they'll call like, you back so you actually, can continue yeah. negotiating. And I was like, oh, okay, but at first I was kind of like, lady. Yeah. What are you doing? I used to be so embarrassed. Like, why? <laughs> like, what are you doing? It's the fight. Just take yeah. it. But hey, yeah. I am a night. <laughs> so you know, like, oh, I knew you knew <laughs> you know? <laughs> No, but and also the restaurants. The menus are in French, guys. Okay. We cannot speak Kirundi. Now to have you in Tanzania, even though we're born in Tanzania, like we can speak Kirundi. Yeah. Also, I thought. <laughs> And you go there and everything is in French, the prices, everything. And I'm like, I swear to God, this is not what I expected. Yeah. I, what? Honestly, I'm, I just looked for familiar words. I'm like, okay, I know brochette. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know salad. So I was literally living off brochette yeah. and salad. Yeah. Cake. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I was just so confused. Like, why are the menus in French? Like, I get it as French speaking country but come on guys like honestly i was lost most of the time like yeah. and when you're asking like they think you're being ignorant uh -huh. like you're being stuck up it's uh -huh. like no i actually don't know what's going on exactly like they get yeah. impatient sometimes and I, I don't know why that is but i think after they get the hang of you know pretending yeah is when they kind of go oh okay so you really can't speak french yeah like, like yeah, sorry. <laughs> and then judgment. Yeah, like, oh, you don't speak French? Like, what kind of Burundian are you? Yeah. Or 
one was fake. <laughs> no, it's everywhere. Oh, oh, Janum and diaspora. No, 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 um, overall, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, there were some moments where I was just like, eat, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like 90% of it was really nice. Like, mm -hmm. the people, they know how to hustle, and I've got to give them, yeah. give that to them because even like the kids, yeah. like hustling, so selling. many young kids on the streets, yeah. like 7 a.m. Yeah, they're out there hoping, and you're like, oh my god. Yeah, and here I am in Australia complaining that the neighbor started mowing the lawn at 7 yeah, and I can't sleep anymore yeah. and there's a kid somewhere yeah. hustling on the road at 6 a.m. Yeah. Like shame on you. Burundi will humble you. Burundi will humble you and it will make you so appreciative because even those that have little dead happiest, happiest. people you will ever meet. Yeah. Like when I tell you I was humbled <laughs> like in a good way when I tell you I was humbled like I remember when I got there, like one of the things that I was complaining about was, oh, network. I'm a hazel. Like, what's going on? Like, I'm a hazel. All the <laughs> electricity will cut and you're yeah. just like, ah. But then, like, you realize when the electricity cuts and you guys are sitting outside, the moonlight, yeah. telling stories, you're like, man, this is the life, yeah. actually. This is the life. Australia, you can live a whole year and you don't know what your neighbor is, like who your neighbor yeah, is yeah. you don't know their name you don't know their likes dislikes in burundi your neighbor is your family literally um, your, neighbor Amen. your neighbor is your family yeah like no oh like, my god for me the big i think it was the first night there. <laughs> <laughs> the first night there i didn't know that there was like no no hot water there's no hot water taps i had no yeah. idea i went to have a shower i turned the tap and i'm just you know girl young lady you're waiting for the hot water I'm waiting for the are you not water. embarrassed Literally, i walked out i was like no this is a time i was like shoo, shoo. i'm sorry i am great i'm glad we didn't go together because my god i would have teased you like what literally and i think this one night but like i was just going through a lot emotionally and like when you've never been there and it's somewhere so home, yeah. and you just like Wow, like you're taking in so much. It's so I got, overwhelming. Yeah, I got yeah. so emotional, and the fact that I had to boil my water, mm -hmm. carry the bucket into the shower, I was like, oh my god, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did. I cried. I was like, you I know, know what you just reminded me of? Yeah. You remember the show um, World's Strictest Parents? <laughs> you know when they send like the American kids in South Africa and stuff? <laughs> you. That was you. <laughs> No, but it was good. Like I reckon the fact that I didn't have network and internet and everything um, all the time gave me the chance and the opportunity to actually really relate to the people around yeah. me, actually take in what was happening around me and just, you know, be involved mm -hmm. and be able to mingle with everything that's going on. Yeah. And it's a different experience within itself. Yeah, and it's as so much good. as they make fun of you for not like speaking the language a hundred percent, it's playful. They're always so willing yes. to just like help. Yeah, and, oh. there's no judgment. Yeah, there's not. I loved that. Yeah, they're so welcoming. Like, it's just, <laughs> like <laughs> oh, they're so like, oh my god, they gosh. are so aff affectionate. Yeah. They're not scared to compliment you. Oh, Somebody no. will stop you on the road to tell you you look good. Yeah, hey, wait, Kutessa. Oh. I'm coming back. Call <laughs> I'm coming back. That's all the affirmation you need. Burundi, you need affirmation? Walk down the street. Walk down the street. Walk down the street. It's Chevy. Anyway. I'm a good Nisa wife. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. Don't it's okay. And they'll always offer to walk you. Like, yeah, I love that. I love, love, love Let's that. Being a woman in Burundi. <laughs> I loved it, and, and never any yeah. compliments. And you never feel like you're having Out to wear ways. makeup mm -hmm. or any of that. I didn't wear makeup that much. You feel so beautiful. Yeah. You feel so beautiful. You feel so seen. You feel so hurt. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> I could get used to this. Like, am I moving to Burundi or what? Oh, dear. like, am I moving to Burundi? <laughs> like, honestly, when I came back, I was like, oh my god, imagine. Yeah. Imagine if I. And you start like feeling that. homesick. Like yes. I've never been there before, mm -hmm. but when I came back, I was like, "Wow, that was I want to cool. go back." Yeah, I started missing Burundi when I was on my flight to Singapore from Ethiopia. Like I cried at the. <laughs> Connected to like my um 
my sister-in-law's family and all yes. of them. And like, I don't know, they just made it feel like home. home. That when I was leaving, I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> Listen, I, we're not spending another five, ten years without going back. No way. Ever again. Never In ever two again. years, Busha, you're seeing me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice um, chan. Yeah, but how'd you find the food? The food was so good. Yeah. Listen, I ate. Yeah. And I ate. And I get no weight. The food like is so good. Man. <laughs> The food was so good, it was so organic. Yeah. And I hate snacking, but every step I took, if you have any the hair in go. Yeah. Like fried uh, roasted peanuts. Um, cassava, fresh cassava, oh, right yes, there. Yes, yes, me The avocado, there. the bananas are so sweet. Oh. And one thing that took me off guard, the soft drinks, because I, I, I don't know, I'm not really a sweet tooth. Like, I'm not really great with soft drinks here, mm -hmm. but let me tell you, in Burundi, my soft drink, I got citrocar, hera, namazeko. Yo. My soft drink will finish when I have already placed an order for the other one. Kabe gakon. Yes. Well. Yeah. And because of the heat. Oh, wakumba can't You could feel it. You could feel it. Like ah. No. And for, it's not yeah. too sweet, yeah. so it's so good. So for me, this four didn't do it. It was the orange. Like, oh. and there was a time that didn't mm. have. That's any. what I'm saying. They ran out. His name is Engiza. His Engiza was it. Like they ran out of um orange and. Uh, Oh, but it's it's for the day. Eh, Burundi. Yo, man, I'm going back home. <laughs> <laughs> you just made me feel like so talk about the cake, the cake. Guys, so when I had to when you amass the kujamu ma freezer, you mazengeka, ukwe zimri freezer and everything. Oh, yeah, only fresh. Usually, I don't like fresh fish. I hate fresh fish. No, but umu cake, umu kala zimu nega nega. Umurobe, umurobe, and I don't know what it is about the maize flour here. The maize flour here is over processed. Oh, so there, urumba kai kigori kuraje. Guys, let's go yeah. back on the rigori. When I went, it was during the <laughs> corn season. The season. It was the season for everything. So being able to yeah, like when people are selling it on the street, you never try kumba with our little rusty. Ah, I hate eating on the streets. But when I was in Burundi, no shame. No shame, shame for I love the shame in Australia. Yeah. Everything I wanted to try it in Humbaswa. Mudam. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in Humbaswa, talking about trying everything. That I was in Humbaswa, Numba. Oh my god. 20 yeah. minutes. That's another story. 20 minutes. I swear to God, now I'm even like, because I saw someone staring it. And I said, no, no, I must take a few packs. Yeah. So I took like three bags home. Now that's a charity book. Right. I ate in Humbasa to the point where I was like, when in Humbasa for right. me it was Isqua, Isqua. Oh I didn't get the God. chance to because I think I went too early in the season. Like yeah. it was a season for them. Can you get crunch? Why didn't you bring me some? <laughs> ah, and then you're here talking, <laughs> talking to me about it. Isqua kubulove. Oh my God, I have no idea, guys. Oga mungambi, mungambi. Oga si, oga chere, oga pichura ni abuto. We need to go back. We need to go back. No, one thing that shocked me the public transport. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, but why am I sharing my taxi? If I'm paying full price meal for a taxi to go to the yeah. 15k. Yeah. And then what are you wounded? But you guys are not gonna share the fare. Ngaha everybody, when it happens here, you share the yeah. fare. But there is no yeah, the no taxi driver way. says, and it's no. too hot for me to be, you know, yeah. shoulder to shoulder yeah. with random people. Oh, yeah, what do you mean, random people? They are your sisters in Christ, yeah. <laughs> no, but like, oh my god, what am I like? It was good though, I reckon it was good experience. Like, it was shocking because it was the first time there, yeah, yeah. But I think after this, the, the, the like the second week, mm. oh, I'm as a good time for a comedian. Now, nah, the yeah, first two weeks, you're so timid, you're so quiet, mm -hmm. you're, you're still you're taking mean. everything in, yeah, you're still taking everything in, but after that, oh, I'm home. How you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you, you have already started to pick up a few French words yeah. here and there. So like, you fit in. Mm -hmm. I'm home. You can't even, I, can you even tell I'm not from here? No. Can you, you know, the negotiating? Let's go. <laughs> the food, 
you have already been used to the menus, you know what you like, what you don't like. Yeah. But I'm as a comment, you're going to do the food. Yeah. So, mm. okay, I'm going to stop. You're already placing an order. People are like, wow. Wow. Because it's sure. No, but for me, I loved uh, talking about food. Nyamachoma. Mm -hmm. The ones on the street. Yeah. Or Haranutwage. Mm -hmm. Oh, why do you get Mugiza? No. Oh, you missed that. Don't <laughs> worry. Zojayo, I'm going. I'm going to be. Yo, but I cook as is on your mouth. And you're just like, you know, when meat tastes like meat. Yeah. Like I'm eating lamb and it tastes like lamb. It made me question the meat here. Yeah. Australia, what are you doing? What, what's going on? It made me question. Like you actually taste and it you smell it. Yeah. And just show mm -hmm. They have to smell like. So it made me question the meat here. Yeah. What's going on? All the rice. Yo. Oh. Why can I smell you cooking but rice? Oh, when they are roasting the rice mm -hmm. before they put the water in, you can smell yeah. it and you're like. Ah. Mm -hmm. Nah, fruits. I'm hungry now. <laughs> the shorts. All Even sudden, food I don't eat at home, like nagong hose could give it talk. But there. Elega, the thing is, they are, I don't know, the banana is so different. It's I finish cooking the banana, it's a bit hard. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to this is a queer as if we are going to keep it. Apparently, we freezer to put a hand on guys. Wait, wait. Come on. I'm saying that I'm going to take a song. My niece. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Okay, today. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, I ate. Yeah. And I ate. And I ate. And I got Burundi. Nah, I love song there. Oh, oh sorry, y'all. No, got a video, but. And can we talk about how I want to go back to how affectionate people are? Oh, oh man. <laughs> I felt so beautiful. <laughs> Guys, being in Burundi made me feel like I was. Her. I was like, like you I was the girl. girl. You I was her. Like, you. Like, you. And I love that they are not shy to say it. No way. They will love how you are looking mm. and they will stop you to just say you look beautiful. Imagine that ah. just simple, simple. <laughs> Yo, was it cool? Stop it. Marry me right now. <laughs> to express themselves mm. my god to jump to yeah i'm a cool miso yeah don't say that to me like it was so good yeah. but yeah. oh, oh seriously have to go back have but overall it was really good it, it was, was so really good. good like even the drive going mm -hmm. up country like yeah like oh, it's so it's just so natural but we're going back yeah we're going, going back, back. Muzatu oh. one at twenty twenty six. It's only in your Muzatu Muzatu one. Muzatu one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It will never happen again. There's no. I'm gonna be spending five years again without going back to Burundi. Ah. Kwa ni midiango tuwa sisi like over eighteen years. Yeah. Same family reuniting, reuniting with family that you haven't seen in eighteen years. Seeing family you didn't even know. Yeah. Burundi. I used to get so Thank happy you when for people were like, oh, I'm your mom's this. I'm yes! Your mom's this. Really? Yeah. And, and then go. The genuine excitement. Yeah. yeah. And they're actually happy mm -hmm. for you. <laughs> yeah, like, oh my god. Yeah. And just being in like a place, you know, your parents were born. Yeah. Like, yeah. I got to see where my brothers, because you know, all my brothers were born in Burundi. Yeah. Except me and my sister were born in Tanzania. I got to see where they lived in Murama. Mm. I got to visit some of the farms. Yeah. In had This was a good thing. Guys. The fruit in general <laughs> is just yeah. good. The fruit in general is just Like the pineapples, the freshness of everything. And it's so juicy mm -hmm. and sweet. Mm -hmm. oh. No. no. So good. No, Sean. Everybody. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you for your time. <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, guys, we just wanted to share a little bit of our experience. Yeah. Our first time ever in Burundi. No, and honestly. Honestly, no complaints. Yeah. No complaints. But we're coming back. For anyone who hasn't been, it's you go. It's go home. So what are you it's waiting worth for? It. Yeah. Anyways, we're coming back. Mm. Anywho, if you want to know anything else about our experience, or if there's something else that you want to share as well, drop it down in the comments or put your questions in the comments, and we'll come back and answer them. Yeah. Because oh, we, we had a good time. <laughs> I love reminiscing we had about good time. Yes, like right now, I want to go back. Yeah. I want to just finish this video and go to the airport. <laughs> No, but um, honestly, Benny, thank you so much for having me. Thank you me. for coming yeah. and thank you for sharing for sharing your experience with us. Lovely. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do like this video, comment. We're back. Yeah, we're back. You're missing out on so much vibes. Yes, like, we're now. back. <laughs> yeah, you are such a vibe. Please so come back. <laughs> come back. Anyway, thank you guys for your time, and we'll see you next time. Thank Ciao. you. Bye bye. Bisu bisu. DJ, DJ, to the Kuma Philo, okay, okay, I will shock that right by my side.